hello guys welcome again in this video we are going to learn how we can use timeout conditions in go language so here i'm just creating a package first of all in this package i'm creating a function main and here i'm creating a one channel ch1 and i'm just making this as a channel of string data type and i'm just creating a anonymous function that is going to initialize or giving a value to this channel and I say message one like this and I execute this one and I set the time also that time dot sleep and here time dot second like this so after one second this will perform and I just use the select case also and here I say case one that resource should get the result from the ch1 like this and I print this one in print ln I say resource case second is again returning the time dot after and here I say time dot second but I am just doing multiplication of two that after two second if the condition expire means if two second happen and we do not get information from the channel if this condition is false then we can display print ln that message one timeout okay and i run it and you see that message one display because that is time only one second and this is two second now in a second case if I create one more channel I say ch2 equal to make and I say channel string type again I just create one more function and here I say time dot silly that is two multiplication of time dot second and then ch2 we are going to message here that message two like this and I'm going to execute this one also again I'm going to take selection and in this selection I take case one I say if the value come from the channel two then we have to display fmt dot print ln resource but if again we have channel time dot after after two second time dot second and i just display information print ln that messes to time out I say FMT I save it and I run it and you see the output here message 1 and here we have a message 2 timeout why because 2 second has been over by this function this one we have a 2 second here wait and this is 1 second so after 2 second so this condition is not satisfying and this condition is true so after two second this statement is executed but if I want to execute this one so I say it is three and you see that if I run it so message one and message two will execute why because it this condition will happen only after three seconds so this statement is executing on two second if I again do it 2 second then again you will have a message 1 
and message to timeout. So this condition will be true. So like this by using after method we can use the or we can set the condition of timeout means if this condition is true after two seconds this statement will execute if this statement is true after two seconds this statement will execute but in case here this is executing after one second so this condition is true so this statement is executing but here two second has been happen and it is also waiting for two second this is also two second so this is true first so this is displaying here so this is the way to use timeout situation or timeout statements in go language thank you for watching my video